Hi, welcome to this part where we are looking at Amazon MQ thumb rules. This is a certification essential, very important eight thumb rules to clear the certifications. Which certifications? Primarily these three. Please subscribe to my channel and like my videos. This channel is totally dedicated to help you clear cloud certifications. Please visit various playlists on this channel. Let's jump into the thumb rules. What is Amazon MQ? See, earlier in the on-premises world, we had Active MQ and Rabbit MQ. What are these MQ? These are message queues, message brokers, like used for real-time integration. Now, Amazon provides you an alternative. You can use Amazon MQ, which is an alternative of Active MQ and Rabbit MQ on cloud. It is easy to set up and operate. It is very suitable for IT pros, developers, etc. Why it is useful? Because you know you are already using some uh, MQ services on premises, and when you want to move it to cloud, use Amazon MQ. Why? Because Amazon MQ, AWS is managing that. It is managing the provisioning of the infrastructure capacity, software upgrades, security updates, and fault detection and recovery. It AWS manages it for you. But you know, you also have an option. You can still use Rabbit MQ and Active MQ. How you will have to put it on a EC2 instance. You can still keep using that, or you can use Amazon MQ, which is a AWS managed service. See, always remember MQ. See, you have other options also, SQS, SNS, etc. But what is the advantage? Why should we use Amazon MQ? Only one reason, very important from a certification standpoint, only one reason, I repeat it from a certification standpoint, cloud practitioner, AWS solution architect, associate or professional, always remember MQ is used because in premises, on premises, you already had been using some MQ software and now you're moving to cloud. So you should use Amazon MQ. You should not use SQS there. You should use SQS if you are setting up a integration service for the first time. The beauty of MQ is it integrates. Suppose you know you are using, you are not using Active MQ or Rabbit MQ on premises. You were using some other stuff, suppose Kafka or something else. Then also you can use Amazon MQ because it provides compatibility with other messaging services, APIs such as which are supported by Java Message Service or Dotted Message Service, etc. See now who can use MQ? See these EC2, ECS, Lambda can use MQ. Now MQ integrates with these services. Very important. CloudWatch to monitor metrics, CloudWatch logs so that the logs can be monitored, create trail so that the logs can be continuously monitored and retained. Cloud formation, this is infrastructure as a code. Okay? It can integrate with that. It can obviously with IAM, it has to integrate because IAM integrates with majority of the services and KMS for key management encryption it integrates how does the billing happens you are charged for broker instance and storage usage as well as you are charged for standard data transfer fees so broker instance message you will have a broker instance you will be charged for that and it will store some stream of data you will be charged for that and then since the data is moving from say consumer to producer so you will be charged for the data transfer also in, in the cloud practitioner exam, you will get this question is they usually quiz are is this service HIPAA compliant? Is this service PCI compliant, SOC compliant, ISO compliant? Yes, yes, yes. MQ is all of these compliant. Now, I like I explained MQ versus SQS. The beauty here is how when to use what that is the beauty of MQ is you use it only if you already had an existing application on premises where you were using some sort of MQ services maybe active or rabbit or something else SQS is like first time you are creating an application on cloud on AWS cloud the first time you're creating this application from scratch use SQS don't waste your time on MQ needless to say even if you see Kinesis data streams, SQS, and even MQ, these are the data is encrypted. That is, it is safe. The data is stored is safe. All of these services provide encryption. And the MQ services can be monitored using CloudWatch. There are various metrics that you can monitor. Please subscribe to my channel, like my videos. If you have any constructive comment, please drop in your comments. This channel is totally dedicated to help you clear cloud certifications. This brings us to the end of this video. See you in the next part.